a thriving restaurant in Shanghai with no tables or waiters. With just a few clicks, Chinese consumers are creating a food delivery boom. Popular apps like this connect restaurants and home cooks to more than 300 million users. In her Shanghai apartment, Su Xiaosu is busy meeting this demand with her home-cooked cuisine. 365 days a year. Basically, we are never closed. If something big comes up, we will still try and stay open, even if it means delays of one or two hours. We will never choose to close. Su alone can make more than $400 a day from mobile orders. The industry's turnover has soared, topping $32 billion in 2017. It's expected to grow 20% this year, creating new opportunities for people like former factory worker Liu Huafan. Being in the factory all day, your work and rest time is monotonous, and it's very restricted. After that, I thought about going out and becoming a courier. I feel freer doing this. He says he makes as much as $1,400 a month, close to the average Shanghai salary. Now some traditional restaurants are changing to keep up. Right after we cut out the dining in part, we lost about 40% of our business, and I was quite anxious and panicky. After around three months, the amount of takeaway orders surpassed what we used to get from dining and takeaway combined. Other challenges exist. Tens of thousands of accidents were blamed on risk-taking couriers last year, and the extra plastic waste is prompting fresh concerns for China's already polluted environment. A game-changing boom, the impacts of which are only just beginning to be felt.